Keith Reedley, James Reedley. If button, why not? We've heard goes up five pounds. Kings Grey, Tom Skew, the favourites, Dresden. And uh, let's have a look at them in the paddock with the boys. Okay, here we go. This race, uh, Robbie, who comes down in trip, he's going to try and ensure this is a test of stamina. Kikoyo and also Kings Grey, they've all liked to go from the front in the past. It's the two course specialists that lead over the first. Kikoyo and Robbie, the two that dispute the lead. Back in third place is Kings Grey. Four lengths back to if and but, why not, in the red and yellow quarter to colours or checked colours. The back of the field we have Indian Voyage and last of all early on is Dresden so they'll prepare to turn left-handed and meet a series of fences that begin with the water jump down the side of the race course. Robbie and Kikoyo, Kikoyo keeping Robbie very tight to the rail there and uh, emerges with the lead. In third place Kings Grey, if and but why not Davy Russell on his first ride for David O'Mara Then Indian Voyage and Dresden held up at the back of the field, water jump is next and Kikoyo out in front as the boys said, ran here yesterday, but they must have intended to run and stick the cheek pieces on because that uh, declaration made prior to his running. He wears them for the first time this afternoon as they stretch over a plain one and then a short run to the open ditch. Robbie and Kikoyo. Kikoyo still with just a narrow lead. Robbie moving back up on the inside and they take it together. Kings Ray over in third place. If and but why not in the checks as they begin now to climb the hill. And the back two, Dresden on the inside of Indian Voyage. Another plain one that will emerge in a moment on a slight plateau before they complete the rise. So climbing up Rose Hill, Kikoyo it is who leads by a length again from Robbie. Third place for Kings Grey, racing in fourth place if and but why not. And uh, then Indian Voyage and Dresden, big leap by the leader there. If and but why not took a chance, brushed his way through it. Cheston chased along as they climb Rose Hill and descend now into the long swinging left hand turn. So out in front, it is Kikoyo who leads. Kept honest by Robbie here, the pace has been a generous one. Kings Grey racing in third place. If and but why not, Dresden and Indian Voyage as they make their journey on towards the next fence. So swinging left-handed all the time. And Kikoyo with Robbie out wider, come towards the next. And again, Kikoyo bold jumping, Kings Grey got right to the bottom and he's unseated the rider. So Kings Grey unseats Tom Skudamore and uh, hopefully he's okay, he's sitting up ruefully. If and but why not has been handed third place, Dresden in fourth, short run to the next, the loose horse a little bit in their way, an Indian voyage not that fast over it either. So heading down towards the business end and preparing to swing back towards the fifth last and then the turn for home. Kikoyo and Robbie have been crossing swords right from the word go and they lead towards the next. Kikoyo over in front, Robbie took a chance, if and but why not took a chance, Indian Voyage takes a chance. So out in front, Kikoyo by virtue of some sound jumping has got them at it as they turn for home. Robbie moving back up, if and but why not in third place for Davy Russell as they straighten for home, Dresden in the green colours. This is four from the finish, Kikoyo over in front, Robbie in second place, if and but why not, and Dresden trying to get on terms. For the first time, Kikoyo is being ridden, and Robbie for James Reevely up on the outside has now taken his measure and races down towards the third last with a lead from if and but why not, who's only three quarters of a length away, and Dresden gradually creeping into it on the far side as well. Run down towards the second last, and it is Dresden who who over on the far side has moved through to lead from Robbie, if and but why not two from home and Dresden is over well, if and but why not two lengths down as they head down towards the final fence and it is Dresden who is pulling away for Henry Oliver and James Davis, this is the last, Dresden sees a stride, jumps it really well in second if and but why not having a battle with the Robbie, they're well clear of Kukoyo but Dresden continues this upward curve since joining Henry Oliver, he is in the grand annual at the Cheltenham festival and connections may feel it's worth having a go because Dresden has won this comfortably if and but why not in second in third place for Robbie Kikoyo eventually drops right out to finish fourth Indian voyage gets round just to repeat Kings Grey gallops away riderless and I'm pretty sure Tom Scudamore was okay after that spill as well so it goes to Dresden who really has done particularly well in his recent starts came off a strong pace and just our first winner here